Welcome to Wild of the World and in this brand new episode you see us in Mexico. The last episode you saw us road tripping through the USA and over here we're gonna meet up with some friends to see Puerto Vallarta and also explore the west coast. And only a week ago we were knees deep in the snow, spotting bears in Yellowstone. Eventually we took a plane out of San Diego to cross the border into Mexico. From backpacking and road trips with camper vans, we end up in a great resort at the Bahia de Banderas, which I can really recommend because this side is much cheaper than the east side. At first we hang out at the resort for a couple of days, just outside Puerto Vallarta, with several swimming pools, plenty of entertainment and even a nightclub. So our hotel is just located a little bit north of Puerto Vallarta the biggest hotspot and holiday paradise in western Mexico. And so while my friends and family are enjoying the poolside, somewhere over there in the back, I'm going to explore the city, and this is Puerto Vallarta. Let's go. We rent a car that fits seven people for about 80 bucks a day, and I take it for a spin into town. In Puerto Vallarta everything revolves around the Malecón, a one and a half mile long boulevard along the beach. The atmosphere here is extremely relaxed, but you can also experience authentic Mexico with the old town within walking distance. Parroquia de Nuestra Señora de Guadalupe. It's a big mouthful and a beautiful name for a beautiful church. Just outside the busy center of Puerto Vallarta, you will find a colorful little neighborhood called Zona Romantica. It's beautiful with these colored houses and it's right next to the beach, so let's take a stroll over here. The Zona Romantica is a must visit. This hip and artsy district is full of colors and murals. It looks a bit like Cuba because I also see a lot of old timer cars. Back at the hotel, I had a fantastic morning. I'm gonna check out where my friends and family hang out, somewhere, uh, and gonna take a dive and an ice cold beer. I think I deserve that. <laughs> a new day, a new adventure. And this time all together. Yeah. 
Today we pay a visit to two little fishermen's towns, typical local Mexican towns a little in the north of Puerto Vallarta, and this area is called Riviera Nayarit. The first town we pay a visit to is called San Francisco, but it's better known locally as San Pancho. On just an hour's drive away, you arrive in this lovely old town with a real surfer's vibe. And where would San Francisco be without the Golden Gate Bridge? take a dive into the ocean, but since this is a surfer's town you should expect gigantic waves. From the beach we walk through an old part of town, through this small pedestrian street full of colorful artworks. And then it's time for cute coastal town numero dos. We drive a little bit further along the coast and visit Sayulita. A little bit bigger, same atmosphere, a lot of music, good food, so let's have some lunch. We drink some craft beers that were brewed on the very corner of this street. And we enjoyed the street life going on right in front of us. Once back at the resort, there is one more show to watch. A whole group of these little cute bears, better known as Coatis. Today we decided to take the car for another spin and we went into Jalisco, the province just in the south of Puerto Vallarta. And on the way to Guadalajara is a small town called San Sebastián del Oeste, which is the oldest town of this area. And it's from 1605 and it still looks exactly the same, so it's like walking into history. Let's go! On the way we were briefly stopped by an army patrol, but it turned out to be nothing. At one point I was afraid they would blow my drone right out of the sky. A walk through San Sebastian is a walk through time. It took us about two hours to get here, but you get the feeling you're walking around on a Mexican film set. Bye. 
we're doing something completely different. We drove about one hour to the south and we're gonna see the most beautiful beaches in Jalisco. We're gonna go off the coast and see what we see on the way. In Boca de Tomatlan, we park the car and take the boat. You can get to some beaches by a water taxi, but with some negotiation we hire a private boat for the whole day for about 140 bucks. We also arrange a free parking space with the captain. The cruise along the coast is already breathtaking. The first stop we make is Mahawitas and we're going to do some snorkeling. The final destination and also the highlight of our trip is Yelapa, a little town between the mountains that you can only reach by boat. You cannot get here by car from anywhere. So today we're going to explore the Mexican culture here and do some relaxing on the beach, because that's what you do here. Cheers. After a delicious Mexican lunch, we head on for yet another Robinson Crusoe beach. On the way back, we stop at Majahuitas again uh, to enter the beach. And I must say, it's even prettier. Almost no one here. The waterfall at the end of the beach makes the picture complete. What a paradise! From Boca de Tomatlan we drive back to the hotel in one and a half hour. Just like that, our adventure in Mexico has come to an end. But the world trip is far from over and we're moving on to South America. We're going to Ecuador. And our first destination will be the world famous Galapagos Islands, a true animal paradise. I'll see you guys then, so keep following our world trip. Ciao!